Well, boys, it's another day back out here at Elevated AF, and as some of you may or may not know, I love Ford Rangers, and a while back, I built this Dually Ford Ranger. Now, it is coming swapped. It's got a platinum Ford interior, JTX forged wheels, the whole nine yards, even a 4BT Cummins. Now, well, that's great and all, I think it's time to kick it up a notch, and the Facebook ad i seen today is going to help me with that. Now, before we do that, I've got to take this Ford into the shop that we took on trade a little while ago, get it in there, and the guys are going to start working on that. Now, we have been keeping pretty busy here. The shop's been getting a lot of business. We've been uh, doing some work for customers, selling quite a few vehicles. Things are good. Also, Colton's still out of the shop. He's still sick, so he should be coming back soon. Anyways, we're going to hop in the fifth gen here and uh, head out and buy some more useless junk. Well, maybe not entirely useless, but we'll see what happens. Well, this is the place right here. Now, uh, me and Colton actually bought a truck from this guy a couple months ago, but uh, since he's been on a little bit of a Ford Ranger kick, as you can see. And uh, these things aren't your average Ford Rangers. No, uh, he did this one up into a Bubba-style Ford Ranger. It's got a ranch hand on it, which I didn't even know they made ranch hands for Ford Rangers, but apparently they do. Nitto mud grapplers, and it's got a flatbed with a diesel tank on it and toolbox, which is pretty cool but the engines in both these ford rangers are toast now uh he tossed these cummins stickers on here it's kind of a gag but we're gonna really make it happen now this other one same deal the engine's blown up in it because it's just the stock ford ranger engine and i think he was doing a little too much work with these but this one's a little different it's got a whole flipping dually setup on it as well as a flipping gooseneck hitch which is absolutely ridiculous but i love it anyways if we can come to a deal i think we're gonna buy both of them and i got some ideas both of which involve coming swapping these two things well you already know the deal i couldn't pass up buying two ford rangers so uh yep here we are backing up the trailer gonna get these suckers loaded on all right quick strap down here if i can get these straps on perfect all right, let's roll. And my shop guys are really going to hate me. Working on these Ford Rangers and especially stuffing a 12 valve Cummins into them is not a good time. All right, we made it back. Let's see what the guys can do to these. Now, as a cheap ranch truck, Ford Rangers are actually not a bad idea. However, when it comes to towing and all that, they just don't have the power with those stock motors and they burn out awfully quick. Now, even if you're going to go try, holy smokes, these are heavy. Even if you're going to go try put a flipping dually setup on it, they ain't going to work too great. I didn't think these would be heavy. Heavy, but holy smokes i don't know what he made these flatbeds out of but these are not light all right on the lift you go you got the other one on here as well perfect okay well i'm gonna let the guys work on these and uh, i'm gonna go find something else to do so i'm on a bit of a super duty kick right now and uh i figured we should probably replace colton's f-250 while he's gone i know he doesn't mind this thing but uh, i got a little something better in mind the truck we're going to look at it's actually the exact same year as the one we got traded in that's in the shop right now so we're gonna go check this thing out and see how it is Plus, his truck absolutely sucks for towing. All right, here it is. Oh, that thing looks sick. Okay, so this is a 2016 F-350 Dually. I know it says 250 on the side. The guy said they had to uh, change it because the old one got busted out. They can only find a 250, apparently. But it is a 350. Six, seven power stroke. It's a Dually. It's on some graps. I absolutely love this year of truck in a Dually. And it's a little extended cab, which if I'm going to be honest, I don't think Ford, other than the F-150s, I don't think they make extended cab 250s or 350s anymore in the newer years. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I'm, I'm pretty sure they stopped this in the uh, 11 to 16 range. Anyways, owner gave him the keys. We're going to go uh, take this thing for a little test drive. And since this thing is a 16, it did have def at one point, but uh, it's now deleted. So it's got a little bit of a better sound to it. All right. Just took this thing for a quick little test drive. Everything seems good on it. I think we're going to take it. And they even did a little paint match in the inside. Not too bad. Well, I took the truck, and since me and Colton love the look of graps and stock tires, I think we're not even going to change the grap dually setup. We're just going to leave it like it is, but uh, a few minor changes other than that. We should have his truck looking real good. I'll surprise him with it when he gets back. Well, the Sherp is leaving today. I got a buyer coming for it. If I want to be honest, one of my dumber purchases... We don't use this thing at all. It was kind of an impulse buy, and looking back on it, yeah, we, we just don't need it. It's literally useless, so I have a guy coming to pick it up later today, but I couldn't resist having some more fun with it before it left. Well, son of a gun, is that what truck I think it is? What is? It's the old uh, ranch truck I ended up doing for this guy. This was uh, my old tow rig. I didn't think it was him buying the Sherp. 
Huh. Anyways, I ended up doing this up for him. It was my old tow rig, and uh, he ended up buying it. Now I guess he's buying my Sherp, too. Oh, he's in the office signing paperwork. I think he was eyeing up that hot rod, too. Hmm. Maybe I'll buy that. That thing's kind of cool, but to be honest, we're not really a hot rod or big car kind of shop, so... I wouldn't mind if it left. Well, it's been a couple days here, and I've been stuck in my office all day, but the guys said the trucks are done. What the heck did they do? <laughs> okay, this is actually pretty sick. I don't know which one of them put this together, but uh, good job on their end. Anyway, these are the uh, two 2016s. This is the one I bought for Colton, but turns out it might be getting sold. I'm going to have to find him another one, but I do know of one, so don't worry. He'll still be getting pretty much the exact same truck, maybe just Tad bit different. Anyways, looks like they got a nice little 25, 20 foot, something like that. Trailer with some ramps. That's pretty sick. So this is the other 2016 we had in on trade. Nice TSO tip. Bit of a lift going on it. I think that's about an 8 inch, maybe a 10, something like that. Some 40 inch boggers on 26 inch Liberty Forged rims or wheels, depending on what you call them. Nice WC track bars. Oh man, TSO tip. This is sick. That's one heck of a setup right here. And I think went over a couple of details on the dually with me put in some morimoto headlights paint matched a bunch of stuff changed up some of the lighting on it put this uh back rack on it and this thing actually turned out pretty sick as far as i'm aware we're doing some promotion for the shop with this whole setup so we have a video crew coming out later today but i didn't know they were going to do this whole trailer i don't know where this came from anyways they're still going hard on the uh ford rangers those should be done soon but Man, this setup came out sick. Well, boys, it's been a few more days here. The Rangers are ready, and the wait is finally over, and I think they turned out way sicker than I ever wanted. So before we get to the really, really fast one, we're going to start on the uh, the Bubba truck. This is what we ended up turning the dually into. We both gave them a brand new paint job. They're both looking a little bit better. The Cummins badge is on there. We're now on there because they actually have a Cummins. So this one, we ended up going with a 4BT. Swap the ranch hand on this one. Went with some uh, boggers, because why the heck not? Some uh, cool looking aftermarket rims. Kept the flatbed, kept the uh, fuel tank on it. Add some cool mud flaps. I mean, this thing's not really meant to be... Uh, cool in the fast way it's it's more cool in a different way we put a go light on it and a cb antenna this thing is just quite the work of art now the other one we did a couple other things too give it a nice red paint job put some american forces on it didn't exhaust dump kept the uh hitches and all that because why the heck not but this one has a 12 valve cummins so just a little bit different uh it was a heck of a challenge putting the 12 valve in here but we did do it i don't know how Th these guys are wizards here at the shop but this thing is supposedly, as they've told me, deceivingly fast. At any rate, this thing dumps a lot of coal and it's pretty flippant cool. Oh, I forgot. We also put tow mirrors on it and cab lights because, you know, why the heck not? Got the promotional stuff out here looking awesome. All right, let's get this sucker on the road. So we don't have the transmission quite geared right, but it does pick up some serious speed, especially for a Ford Ranger. Like we are moving right now. And if it didn't have fresh tires, I might try to roast them off. Yeah, this thing goes like crazy. Holy smoke. Oh, but we're spinning out there a little bit on the corner, but we're good now. Yeah, we are moving way faster than you're ever going to be wanting to go in a, uh, in a Ford Ranger. But still, regardless, it's flipping awesome and I love it. All right, so a couple hours ago, we found this small gooseneck trailer. We just had to put this together. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> this is perfect. The ultimate Ford Ranger setup. I love it. This is awesome. I don't think this could have turned out any better. Also, big thanks to Cooper for sending these Ford Ranger mods out. I'll have his Patreon link down in the description. They're absolutely sick, so definitely go check them out. Anyways, let me know what you guys think of this setup in the comments. I hope you all enjoyed. Subscribe, and goodbye.